Hi, One Best Bear Videos. I'm Peter Loshek. It's week 13 in the NFL. We are talking with Jeff Cadillac from jeffcadillac.com, and he has chosen the Monday Night Dallas-Washington game to uh, analyze with us this week. Interesting game. Of course, uh, Dallas had Romo back for about three quarters of the game. He sucked, and now he's out. And uh, Matt Castle back for Dallas. Washington playing pretty well. The offense uh, uh, getting it done at least uh, enough to recently. And, and the defense playing pretty well as well. They are a four and a half point to home favorite right now. The total's all over the place. 41 and a half, 42 or 42 and a half. I'm leaning uh, Dallas getting four and a half. And I'm leaning over at 41 and a half. I have a feeling Jeff Cadillac's going to tell us why he likes Washington. Tell us, Jeff. Well, Peter, you must have read my mind on yes, this one. Yes, I did. <laughs> I'll tell you something, Dallas on Thursday, on Thanksgiving, me and Deion Sanders must have been the only guys in America that liked Carolina in that game. I did not like, uh, Carolina was definitely, I know all the hype against Dallas, you know, Romo at home and all that. Carolina was the better team. That's history. Moving forward, Matt Castle is the quarterback. He is 0 and whatever for Dallas this season. He has not won a game so far. There's problems there. His offense can't get going. He seems to be not in sync with his receivers. The offensive line has problems. He's been sacked. He doesn't get the ball out of the way. And the running game is basically shut down. You also have for defense, where's Greg Hardy been? Since that game against New England, when he was shouting his mouth, he's been a, a no-show the whole way. Hopefully for Dallas, he's a big distraction. He'll be gone after the season. Dallas also not a great away team. Believe it or not, 22 and 34 against the spread in December. Away from the, uh, the confines of uh, Dallas, not too good. Uh, Washington is a tale of two teams. Another team, home and away. At home, they're 5 and 1, 4 and 2 against the spread. On the road, they're 0 and 5 straight up and uh, 1 and 4 against the spread. Not too good. But at home, all of a sudden, Kirk Cousins is the man. He's got 11 TDs and two interceptions. On the road, he's five TDs, eight interceptions. I'm sure, and Dallas has a road dog, four points or more this year, one and two. I'm telling you right now, I like Washington's offense. They're moving the ball at home. They feel comfortable at home. Cousins is looking to get into a nice little groove. And I'll tell you this right now, Peter, I like uh, these teams always play each other tough. It's an NFC rival, goes back all the way to 1960, 55 years. And Washington here on Monday night, Dallas got basically nothing to play for. But I like Washington, lay the points at home on Monday night. It'll be a close game, but Washington should win by more than the spread. All right, Jeff Cadillac predicting a close game in Dallas, Washington, and giving out Washington minus four and a half. As a good bet to bet in that close game, I'm liking the over, whether it's 41 and a half or 42. Jeff Cadillac, give us a, 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 a plug for uh, jeffcadillac.com. Okay. On my website and more analysis on this game and all the games for free every week during the NFL season at jeffcadillac.com. And I have my best bet of the week on Twitter at jeffcadillac1. Thanks, Jeff.